Enterprise Europe Network, what can it really do for businesses? This has been a question that I have been asked so many times over the years, as I'm probably Enterprise Europe Network's biggest fan, if not close enough to biggest fan. I'm here in Malta at the moment. I have delivered a day's training and uh, back in my hotel room now. And I wanted to share a couple of observations about my experience of being with Enterprise Europe Network. First of all, what is it? The way I describe it, and it's not everyone's description, but the way I describe it is that it links all of the enterprise architecture that's already available in Europe together and now further afield. So, for example, if you're in Ireland and you're a member of Enterprise Ireland or a local enterprise office, or maybe you're in Northern Ireland and you're a part of the uh, Invest Northern I Ireland community, or maybe you're part of the Chambers of Commerce Network in the UK, or maybe here in Malta, you're part of Finance Malta, etc. Enterprise Europe Network connects all together. So what that really means for you and I in business is what I really want to share with you now. And I want to give you the five ways that our, benefit, our business benefited from engaging directly with EEN. So it all began when we started the business actually this week, eight years ago. And from the very beginning, I had an ambition to bring the business abroad and had no real idea of how to do so. So I made a promise to myself at that time that I would take the very first opportunity, no matter how big, no matter how small and no matter how scary, to take the business abroad, as I say, in whatever shape or form it came. So I didn't have to wait long as Dublin Chamber sent me an email to tell me that a trade delegation from Malta was coming to Dublin. And Dublin Chamber at the time was one of the members, the Irish contact points. It's now expanded to all of, well, all of the Leos, as well as a number of the Chambers of Commerce, as well as others too. But at that time, anyway, back in, uh, in November 2010, um, the trade delegation did come to Malta. Ironically, it was the same week as the IMF were in town. And I went in and I met with people there, one of which was Malta Enterprise. And then from there, I decided to come out here in January 2011. And um, there's I'm going to cut this story, this story very, very short because uh, there's a couple of elements to it. But in essence, what happened then was I went back to Dublin Chamber. And I said to them, I'm going out to Malta in January 2011. Uh, these are my dates. Can you help me? And through Enterprise Europe Network, Dublin Chamber got in contact with Finance Malta, who, between them and a couple of external bodies, put together an itinerary of meetings for me. So I came out here in January 2011 and I met with a range of people that they had set up for me. And that was the time that we started doing business out here. And that, of course, is now seven and a half years ago. So the first benefit, really tangible benefit for us was that. It was that very first time. And I have maintained contact with uh, Finance Malta since then. I've, I spoke at their conference in May. I spoke at their conference last year as well. Um, and th there's been, as I say, a range of things that have happened as a result of that particular relationship. Um, too numerate to go through in this particular video. But the point was that that was the way in which EEN, Enterprise Europe Network, tangibly helped our business. The second came um, two years ago. Not second in terms of chronological order, but second in terms of impact. And the great thing about Enterprise Europe Network is that if you are a member, as I say, of a Leo or of a Chamber of Commerce that's, a, that's a, a, an arm of EEN, then you can contact the EEN contact point in any other member. So uh, to give you again a tangible example, I went then to meet the London Chamber of Commerce. I was in London on one of, one of the occasions that I was there and I looked up the contact point of EEN and off I went. And I went anyway and I met with them. And anyway, a good bit, good bit after that, I registered for their, for their mailing list and a good bit after that, uh, which was February 2016, uh, they announced that they were developing a trade uh, mission to Abu Dhabi, Sharjah and Dubai. And that was going to be happening in September of 2016. And it was at a very subsidised cost because of this was one of the um, we'd say Brexit offensives that, that the, the UK were going to be going on and because it was going to the Middle East and so on like that and because I was a member of EEN and because I had the, had that meeting and because I had signed up for the newsletter um, I subsequently applied to go and went 
And that trade mission, uh, which is now two years ago, was probably one of the most impactful events that has happened in the company because um, we developed an idea there, uh, came up with an idea there that we subsequently brought home and are currently building right now, uh, which led to so many other things that happened in the business thereafter. As I say, um, too numerous um, to go through in this video because the purpose is to really tell you about EEN. So... The connectivity that Enterprise Europe Network offers within the enterprise infrastructure within Europe is unrivaled, absolutely unrivaled. And there, there are two examples. Now, I have gone to meet the EN contact point when I've been in Holland. So we do business in Holland as well. And uh, so whenever I'm there, I will look up, say, the local contact point and I'll organize a meeting and I'll go in and I'll tell them about what we're doing and so on. And that can lead to things, um, but it certainly never does any harm. I've met with the team of EEN in, in New York when I was there. So Enterprise Europe Network, it now goes far beyond there. So again, it just gives you a contact point if you are in a particular city or interested in doing business in a country. It just gives you a straight route in to talking to the, to the person there directly. A couple of other things that I want to mention that are really key, and they can, they can be very, very important for people at different stages of their business and so on. Um, one of the things is that they describe the crown jewel of Enterprise Europe Network is the matching database. So if you have a product that you might like to distribute in a different country, or you are thinking of applying for European funding and you need a research partner, for example, well then Enterprise Europe Network can match you with people who are doing the same. So for example, people who are looking to distribute a product in a certain country, or people who are applying for research and looking for a partner, or people who are looking to partner up with others who are applying for European funding and so on. So their, their matching mechanism is, is immense and there are tens of thousands of opportunities and, and I'm not joking you go and check there are tens of thousands of opportunities on the Enterprise Europe Network website of those those potentials um, and there you can break them down by sector by country by a country who's looking to partner by a country who's wishing to accept a partnership all sorts of things um, it is it's it's phenomenal but the other thing and I want to tell you this is like as a resource for people who want to export or are already exporting, or want to develop their exports, or anything to do with the word export. They have an events page, right? Now, when I say an events page on that website, there could be 20, 30, 40, 50 events happening all over Europe, all brokerage focused, and again, export focused. Many of them are incredibly subsidized, like incredibly subsidized. Huge amount of organization goes into these events, and they are there for you as, as a real focal point that if you're thinking of doing business in Germany, look out for the brokerage events or the trade missions or the um the SME events or the information events or the seminars or the trade, or whatever it might be. The amount of events that go on all around Europe that are wide open to us as people who are members of, as I say, Enterprise Ireland or local enterprise office or ultimately Enterprise Europe Network is incredible. You could never fit them all in. And they offer a, a huge amount of opportunity. The other, the other thing that I, I just want to point out as well, just to give you a very tangible example. So uh, we're working on a, on a new project and market research at, at this particular stage of that project is, is really key for us. And one of the best places to get market research is at a trade show where you can survey people or talk to potential customers um, in, in an environment where there's lots and lots and lots of them at the same time. Um, but also in an environment where when people come into a trade show, uh, they know that they're going to be talking to suppliers. OK, so Enterprise Europe Network as a network was taking space at a big event, a big tech event that was happening this year in Japan. And it was on in May. Now, we didn't go uh, because there were a couple of other things going on at the time and, and, uh, and our path has taken us towards Hong Kong, that part of Asia instead. But as an environment, Enterprise Europe Network were taking actual space in, these, in, in a tech show in Japan um, that were offering it for free. So you could have actually exhibited in one of the largest tech shows in Japan for free through a relationship between EEN and the EU Japan office. And again, all of that would have been on, on the events page. Other things that have happened uh, personally with me is that I've been fortunate to go on a number of events and speak about my experience with the local enterprise office, uh, but also over an SME week in Brussels a couple of years ago too. So I've had the opportunity to showcase us as a business and our story uh, with the with the individual um, members of Enterprise Europe Network and also EEN um, wrote a story on us as well that was promoted around the European Commission. So what can I tell you about it? 
except just go and look at the website, talk to your national contact point. Your local contact point is likely to be very, very close to you geographically. So please go and do it. It has been business changing, life changing, transformational, just truly and truly impactful um, and made a real, really, really big difference to our business and long may it continue. So from here in Malta, where the story began, the EN story began, um, I wish you a great week and thank you for listening.